Hi, this is Kimberly with My Craft Spot, and today I'm going to show you how to tie some of the bows that I do with um, the crinkly ribbon. Uh, first of all, these are double bows, and we will get to those probably towards the end. This is also a double bow. You might recognize these cards from my blog. So I'll put those aside, and I wanted to show you um, some of the ribbon first. First of all, it is um, all crinkled and and just kind of fun that way. Let's see if we can see some of it. So it comes crinkled, and if you look close, you can see that there's a little bit of different colorations where it's been um, distressed, stained, whatever you want to call it, so that it looks vintage and, and cool. So I love working with this ribbon. It's very forgiving. So we're really actually tying messy bows so they don't have to be perfect, which I really like a lot. Okay, so it comes in lots and lots of different colors. These are... Uh, mostly the fall colors that I've done that are on my blog right now and pretty soon there will be Christmas colors and some blues for winter and, and some other fun colors that I'm experimenting with right now but um, just beautiful ribbon so we'll push that aside and let's tie some bows first bow I'm going to show you is really a simple bow that everybody knows how to tie but we'll just start with the simple and work up Okay, this is just, I've got a hole punched in my tag. I've just put the, the um, ribbon through and tie a knot. And then this uh, crinkly ribbon, if, if you want your bow loop to be smoother, just smooth it out and some of the crinkle comes out. So it's just right for your loop for your bow. And whoops, I'm going to do that on this side too. Just pull it tight. And and rub that out just a little bit. Okay, now I am going to put the tails off towards the back on this one. So, we'll turn it around a little bit and play with it. Now, before you tighten that, this is your chance to form the loops just how you want them. Sometimes I stick my finger right through there and just pull it Right. Okay, so now we have our little bow sticking off to this side. It's upside down, but that's on purpose. That way we can still see the sentiment right here. Okay, so there's that one. Easy bow. And this one I have an ornament. This is the Harvest Wine color. And I'm just going to try have a messy bow that I can stick on top of here with a glue dot. So nothing fancy. Um, tie in my little bow and I'm going to go ahead and let my tails of my bow go opposite directions. Gives it kind of a fun messy look the twine. Now I've already uh, threaded the twine through so it makes an X stitch. So I'm just going to turn it over and tie it that's the back. I'm going to trim the twine so just a little bit hangs out. Just like that. And I'm going to trim this crinkle ribbon. Now you don't want to pull it out to trim it because then it'll go shorter as it crinkles back up. So you want to just kind of lay it out and, and decide where to trim it based on how it's, how it's falling. This is just a tag, and I've folded my ribbon in half and stuck this through the, the hole. And fold it. So, and I just have this tag I can tie on to a gift. Put that on the side. Okay, well, the next one. I just made a card base and put the, the ribbon through the, through the card. And now I'm just going to tie it. Now this is the, the double bow. And this is the one that I learned how to tie as I, as I looked through Melissa Phillips' blog. Okay, so I tied 
not a knot, but just one tie, and hold it down tight. Oops. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get my bow started. Loop it around. Now, just like on that uh, other tag, I'm going to let my tails go opposite directions. Okay, so I'm going to pull that back in and shape it. Pull that one back in and shape it. So there, oops, the tail should be up there. Okay, I'm going to trim this one off about right there. Okay, and the next thing you're going to do is slip this one underneath and turn it because you're going to be doing a second bow. So you're just going to make a loop and straighten those up as they come through. Now, I don't know if you can see that, it's just a messy, messy bow. I'm going to go ahead and trim off little pieces of, of the ribbon. Straighten that one just a little bit more. I'm going to trim off Okay, and you can trim off more if you'd like. Now this one I've taken and the tag is looped and then I put both strands through the button. And and brought them together kind of loosely so you can still see the button in the loop. So we'll just trim that up. And then once you've got everything together, that's when you play with it and kind of scrunch it around. So there's that one. And that's the same bow I tied on, on, these, on these other cards. Now, this one, I think I'm just going to tie a messy bow. And I'm going to make that loop go the way I want it to. And you can see that, and then it's just this messy bow. And it's very forgiving. It looks good. And then what? We've tied lots of simple, fun, messy bows with this vintage style crinkle ribbon that I just absolutely love. And uh, I'm starting to work on my Christmas colors now. So uh, check back on my blog. Pretty soon I'll have the Christmas sets of crinkle ribbon up. Um, this one's a new one, and this blue one is a new one that's going to be coming out. I also have one that is uh, kind of a a vintage ballerina. It's got some cream and some sparkly black and some some uh, shabby pink. And I got some some winter blues coming. And even I have to show you this one. Even some hot pink and certainly Christmas colors. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.